Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have some modern DIY home decor using Dollar Tree supplies. So these are very affordable. You can definitely make these beautiful room decor and home decor pieces on a budget. They are very easy to make. I have candle holders and vases and wall decor. So the colors that I'm using in today's video are going to be lots of like silver, gray, navy blue. That's kind of the main color theme in today's video, which you probably saw in the thumbnail. But um, comment down below and let me know what are the main colors that you decorate with around your home? Or if you have like a metallic that you like to use, like a silver, copper, brass, um, you know, gold, rose gold. Is there a metallic that you use or a certain like color that you love to use around your home? Comment down below and let me know. And let's go ahead and get started. So for the first one, I'm creating a set of tiled wall panels, taking three of these square wall decor signs from Dollar Tree. I'm spray painting them white. And then once they're dry, I'm using just over two packs of these black and gold foil puffy stickers, also from Dollar Tree. And I space them out to kind of create a square in the center of each square panel here that's going to be five stickers high by five stickers wide. So you will need 25 squares for each panel. You could easily hang these with some small nails or command hooks. They're very lightweight and very easy to hang up. I just love how they look in a set of three like this. Personally, I just really, really love how these turned out. They are so pretty and so easy and inexpensive to make a really budget-friendly DIY wall decor piece. For the next one, I'm taking three of these wooden square pencil holders from Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna take two and actually glue them together and do that i'm gonna use a little bit of super glue and a little bit of hot glue wood glue would definitely work amazing for this but you know i just grabbed the closest thing i know that being a lightweight candle holder you can use kind of whatever you want here and then the other one i'm just going to kind of flip over and just use the one single wooden candle holder by itself now to make the tops for these candle holders i actually have two of these little cardboard boxes from dollar tree they have them in their craft section and i am going to use the square top portion of both of the two boxes so i'm going to save the two boxes for a different diy and i'm just going to use the two tops for this one and I'm actually going to glue those on now. I just used a generous amount of hot glue to keep that in place and this makes a nice square top that you can set an LED candle in. You're not going to want to use real candles because you have wood and cardboard here but this these are just going to be so so pretty. I love how these turned out and I mostly use LED flameless candles. I really enjoy my LED flameless timer candles. They're battery operated and they turn on with a timer every single day at the same time. So I just really love that. I did want to go ahead and spray paint these. I, I wanted these to have like a silver or a gray base. And then I'm going to take these silvery blue gray puffy stickers from Dollar Tree. And you are going to need probably um, like four and a half packs. I think I used to cover the whole thing of you know all four sides of both of these candle holders they took more than I thought I thought four packs was going to be enough but I actually needed a fifth pack in order to complete them but look how pretty these turned out I just absolutely love it and they're going to look so great with cooler tone decor silver gray blue neutral decor these are just so pretty and I think they look so glamorous and so elegant, very modern. I just absolutely love how they turned out. And now that I think about it, you could definitely do a set like this and use those black and gold stickers that we used on the wall panels. And you could do candle holders with those as well. I think those would also look like really cool tiled candle holders if you wanted to kind of have like white, black, and gold instead of this blue, gray, silver tone. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now this one I feel a little bit silly, but I have to show you guys. So I ended up deleting the footage by mistake. Dollar Tree had these backsplash tile stickers and they're basically just like a 
um, a square sheet of backsplash sticker. Grabbed two of these while I was in Dollar Tree and I just cut pieces of them to fit along with two vases from Dollar Tree. So I got a seven inch vase or seven and a half inch and nine inch vase and I cut pieces equal heights to go around the base of those vases. These could be candle holders. You can drop some candles down inside them, which I think looks so, so good. You could also use them as a vase if you prefer, but really it doesn't get any easier than this. You're just sticking the tile sticker onto the vase, like super, super easy DIY vase or candle holder. And then I have one more vase to show you guys and then we'll get into the wall decor piece. So for this vase, I actually, this is one of the newer ones that I've seen in Dollar Tree. So I actually taped off the top narrower portion. I just taped that off because I wanted it to stay clear. Um, but you know what? You can totally do this. The whole thing can be painted, I don't know, or you can tape off a certain design if you want, but yeah, tape off whatever you want to stay clear. And then go ahead and spray paint the rest. So I'm gonna be spray painting it over with my shimmering silver spray paint here. And then I came back and I lightly misted on just a light haze of some white spray paint just to kind of add a little bit of texture. So it's kind of silvery, like a metallic silvery, and then it's got like a little bit of white speckles kind of in it now. And the next thing I did was take some of my foil um, silver leaf. So I've got some of this silver foil leaf here and I'm just gonna press bits and pieces of this silver metal leafing onto the vase. And the vase was still like a little bit, it wasn't wet, but it was like a little bit sticky still not like 100% dry so I was easily able to kind of press some of this um, foil leaf into the vase and it, and it sticks and it stays on there and I just kind of rubbed that on in little bits and pieces and I think this gives it kind of like a mosaic or crackled glass it's almost like a t it almost looks like tile or broken crushed glass or like that crackled glass effect i think it looks really cool i will have this um foil leaf that i'm using down below it's a pack that actually comes with um copper gold and silver i think it's amazing if you're doing crafting um and you want to have like a set of the three plus it comes in this nice little box to store it in so i think this one is a great deal but if you want a cheaper version and you only want one single color you can also find that on amazon as well but anyway, I already had this set, so I decided I needed just a couple of sheets of that to press into here. Um, less than two sheets, actually, I think I used in here. Not that much. It went pretty far, and I just pressed every little piece in. I think this turned out really cool. You can add some flowers here, and I probably will be giving this one to my sister. Actually, she may end up with most of the DIYs from this video, just because there's so many silver things, and she moved not that long ago and got a new place and she always decorates with like silver and gray which I don't have that much or actually I have no silver so I think that she will really be able to use some of these in her new place and yeah hopefully she will enjoy them. So let's go ahead and get onto the wall art now. And for this one, I'm taking an 11 by 14 canvas from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna take some hot glue and basically start in the middle and just make stripes of hot glue, kind of making this like a sun, like a starburst sun from the center, making lines going all the way out to the edge in every direction. Now, if you're wondering why there's some yellow hot glue there, first of all, I had a couple different brands of hot glue. So I just was, I have mix and match glue sticks with different brands and some of them are cloudier than others. Some are more clear, some are more cloudy, but it doesn't really matter because we are going to be painting over this um, the other thing is I think I left my glue gun it was kind of sitting for a while because I was working on some different projects and I think the glue was like heating up too much so anyway 
I'm not sure. Combination of those things is, I guess, why I have some yellowish hot glue there. But yeah, just in case you're wondering. Now I want to add a blue base onto this. So of course the glue dries pretty quickly. And I've got some blue chalk paint here. So what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do is get a little bit of water in my plate here. I just have a paper plate that I added some water to so that I can dilute some of the paint. So in the center, I'm putting the chalk paint like directly on, but then toward the outside of this starburst, toward the outside edge of the canvas, I'm actually diluting it quite a bit in water. So it's more like painting watercolor than chalk paint um and but that way i have a little more i'm able to just kind of customize it a little bit more to get like a very light blue for a background and keep almost keep it where i have some white and some blue but with the center a darker blue so hopefully that makes sense i really wanted to keep kind of a variegated color in here and um, be able to just see some depth and dimension. Of course, you can always go back in with a little more white paint if you want to brighten and lighten up your photo a little bit more, just in case, you know, if the blue is too dark and moody and starts overpowering it. And I did have a little bit of some shimmering silver um, acrylic paint by Deco Art, so I, I brought in a little bit of that. It, honestly, I had very little left in this jar, but I figured, hey, I, you don't even need much, but I just put a little bit of that in there. And then the other thing I'm gonna add in is, actually I tried adding some glue on here, but then I got to thinking instead of the glue, um, because I wanted to add a little bit of glitter and sparkle into the center of this, I decided to actually just take some silver glitter paint from Dollar Tree and put that all into the center and then kind of drag it out from the center in all directions to get like a little bit of that glitter and sparkle. And then I also dusted over this whole thing with a little bit of blue glitter. So just very lightly over the whole thing with the blue glitter. I did decide to add a frame to this. So I'm gonna use an 11 by 14 frame, also from Dollar Tree. And I was very undecided on whether or not to make this frame white or use that metallic, um, that shimmery silver comment below and let me know what would you guys use would you do this with a white frame or would you do it with a silver frame but anyway here is how this beautiful piece of blue and silver wall art turned out i just think this makes a beautiful piece of wall decor on a budget and it was just really fun and easy to make so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed these Dollar Tree DIY room decor, home decor pieces. Comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. And I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Consider subscribing before you go. I'd love to have you. And as always, thank you so much for being here. I wish you a beautiful and blessed day and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.